morning. Oh, holy flabbergasted nipples. What the fuck? <laughs> What's up guys, it's Colby Brock. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to test all of the hard seltzer drinks that I could find at Ralph's so you don't have to. As I was pushing out my cart, literally full of seltzers, check out how many we have right here. A fan came up to me no and asked for a picture. Way. And was just like looking at my cart. She didn't say anything, she was super nice. But she was like, holy sh this guy's going hard, I'm just by myself with loads of alcohol. I was gonna say, what did the uh, cashier say? He didn't say anything, he just, just kind of like, looked at me like... Alright man, you have a tough Thursday night? Like, Yeah, on, I tried to make a joke, I was like, I just gotta figure out what the best flavor was. And he was like... We've been only drinking Trulies and White Claw for our entire lives, and apparently there's like... 10 other brands that we haven't even explored. Yeah, White Claw blew up in 2020, and then everyone else is like, I wanna make money too, let's go. Exactly, and actually, we did try the Bud Light one like a week ago, and that wasn't that bad. It's not horrible, but we did only shotgun them, so, I mean, we didn't really get to taste them. Yeah, we don't recommend shotgunning. So basically what you're saying is we're gonna get blasted drunk on a Thursday night for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? That's what the channel has come to. Welcome back. I'm looking at these and I haven't heard of like 50% of them. When I went to Ralph's I only knew of like two or three oh, and that's God. pretty much it. Okay. Like every single one else is like an off-brand like strange thing. Let's start with the most colorful first one. Modern Times. Modern right. Times Beer Seltzer. S suggestion Modern Times. Maybe use a different font because I can't even read that. It's very colorful and beautiful, but I suggest changing the font so we could read it. It says hard seltzer bubble party hard. What does bubble party hard mean? We're about to bubble party it up right now. That's not how you open things, <laughs> I swear. So the only thing that's gonna make this challenge a little bit difficult is that most of these are variety packs, so they have multiple flavors, which means that your flavor could decide if you Ooh, like it or not, you know what true, I mean? True, true, true. I'll try to talk about the quality as opposed to just the flavor. Yes, out of these ones, we got Cloudberry Dream. That was one of my dog's names. And then we got Grapefruit. Oh. All natural, vegan, gluten free. This was horrible. <laughs> Cucumber Lime. Tangerine Fiesta. Dude, oh, I like these names. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of sick. So I think I might try the Cloudberry. Uh, Tangerine Fiesta. It's a fiesta up in this pocket. It's a fiesta. Oh, by the way, we have 12 of these. I don't know if I said that already. So I'm going to be ranking them from the best to the worst. Number one being the best. Here we go, cheers. Mm. Ooh. Okay, we're just, maybe Ooh. we shouldn't have smelled it first. I, I really like mine. That's not bad at all. It's a little beery taste. Well, it is a beer. Well, that's yeah. Why. So it's a hard seltzer beer. Hard so it, seltzer. Beer. It has that beer taste like a Corona. Sorry, that's a trigger. That's no, trigger. Come say on, that. T Dub in the. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's it has that beery taste, but this honestly tastes like grapefruit white claw. Very berry, very tasting. With yeah, a little bit of say, beer in there. It's very flavorful. It's not like it's bland and it's mostly like beer. But I just for some reason don't like the beer tasting seltzers. So you're gonna put this lower on the list. Yeah, I'm gonna put it as a six. I'm gonna do a four. So moving on to the <coughs> next one real quick. This is called Busy Hard Seltzer. That's cool. Apparently it's an antioxidant vitamin C. All these have crazy. Crazy names, dude. So we got strawberry kiwi, Blech. black cherry. Oh, my favorite. Okay, okay. I love black cherry. That's our favorite white claw. Pineapple mango. Oh, that'll make it, um, something taste good. Huh? We got blueberry pomegranate. Oh, wow. yeah. I got some right. pomegranate. I'm gonna try the strawberry kiwi. I like the gold caps. Ooh. I think it's sick. This smells a little bit more like punchier. Mine didn't even taste like alcohol, like flavored water. Really? Yeah, same. This is really good. I like this almost better than claw. Holy shit! Dude, I cannot taste the alcohol, and it tastes like water, it's like seltzer. It's yeah. like way less acidic. Yes, that's a great way to describe this. It's more like watery, it's for sure. It's a smooth flavor. Yes. Very good. I love that. As of right now, like a one or two. Yeah, I mean, I think that just beat modern time. By far. It took a 
fat, steamy dump on Modern Times. I'm gonna put it at a two for now. I'm gonna do a three, okay? Wow. All right, so now we got another Bud Light one, mm. all right? So I know you're probably not gonna like this, put it at the bottom of the list, but it's the Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade Variety Pack. Dang. Bud Light just completely ripped White Claw. I feel like they would never ever like think about a seltzer and then they just got so like big, they're like, okay, fine, I'll do it. Dude, that's what every company does. As soon as like somebody in their lane is doing something better, they're like, we must adapt and take over. Strawberry. Nice, we got straws. Peach, ooh. ooh that sounds like it'd peach be good. Knee high. Oh, if anybody knows what peach knee high is. Ooh. Black cherry. Ooh, Seems like black cherry is a cherry. common one. Original lemonade. Oh. There we go. All right, what do you want? I would say the peach. I feel like peach would right. be really good. I already got it in my hand. No, I'll try the strawberry. Strawberry and peach. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. <coughs> It's pretty dang good. It's good, but it's not as good as the other two that we just had. Really? So it's very flavorful, but it also has more of that acidicness uh, yeah, to it. Yeah, almost stings. But it's not as beery as the Modern Times one. I'm gonna give this a five. I think I was gonna move that to like a seven. How about I'm gonna move Modern Times down to a, a seven and Bud Light a six. Okay. Okay. Next one is the Smirnoff Isis. What kind of channel are you running, Colby? Don't mention that. Okay. okay. It looks like there's only one flavor of this one. Okay, good. So we can have a same, yeah, maybe we're differing on our ratings because of the flavor. But that's why we just gotta go for like the best that, that we, we really like in the want. variety. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, this one is cherry citrus and blue raspberry all combined. Cheers. Ooh. Bland. Bland. I think it's because it has zero sugar. It's almost like I'm drinking a LaCroix. Yes. A LaCroix with like a little bit of vodka in it. So if you're a hipster out there, you probably want this one. 10 or 11. Close to the worst, yeah. There's a mood for this, but it's just not it. For me, an 11. I'll do 11 as well. He is another it's beer one, all right? So we got Mikolo. Mikolo. Mikolob? Mikolob. Mikolobotra, organic seltzer. Ooh, this one has a less alcohol than usual. 4% instead of 5%. Oh. It has three flavors on there. It has citrus, mixed berry, and mango apricot. I'll try mango apricot. Here you go, first grab. All right, I got the citrus, here we go. Whoa. That is tangy. Very fruitful. Ooh, I don't know if I like that much fruity. I honestly don't think this is that bad at all. It doesn't have any beer taste to me. Yeah, it doesn't have beer taste, so I like it, but I wouldn't put it at the top top, maybe like a four. It's really good, but it's like almost too much. You know what, I actually really enjoyed this. I think I might put it as a five. It didn't beat the other ones. It's pretty dang good. Let's just bring it to something that we're familiar with a little bit. We got the little Mike's Hard. Mike's. These are so good. I've always liked Mike's Hard. Never soft. I love Mike's Hard. Yes, we're making cock references, dude. But yeah, this one has 5% alcohol, mango, lemon, strawberry, and pineapple. I feel like those are very normal flavors. I'll do a strob. Right there for you. Might do the strob too. Yeah. So we'll have an even test on this one. Whoa. 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 That is powerful flavor. That has like a bunch of punch. Yeah. It's uh, like no it's, water it's, it's, at it's all. It's a fat flavor. I think the, the squirter gun just went yeah, that definitely. That's a lot of flavor. You know when you have something sour and your face tingles? It's the kind back of, of your I, I think it's, has that. it's too much. It's good for the flavor, but would not recommend drinking this like 400 times. Yeah, this is definitely like the biggest hangover. This is your Out of them all, right for there. sure. You know what, I might actually give it a seven. I'm gonna go for an eight. Let's do a course, man. We got the course, course seltzer. Course. So another beer. Mango, lime, this is, Literally white claw. White Black claw. cherry on there. Lime. Not natural lime. Grapefruit. Ma grapefruit and is the mango. middle one. Mango is the normal, like like the full pack. Yeah. yeah, dude, they just straight ripped. White claw. A black cherry, because I'll be able to compare that to white claw. Grapefruit. All right, grapefruit and black cherry. Both white claw flavors, both the norm. Here we go, Coors, don't let us down. Uh, no, no. It's so oh, beery. Yeah, it's I was gonna beery, say, this is beery beer. Taste. Yeah, it's like they tried to go for the flavor and then added the beer flavor, so this mix just yeah. does not hit. If you're a beer person, this is for you. We are not beer people. No. That's why it's so far down. Yeah, no. Uh, no, I don't Can't like do it. it. You got a 10 in my book. 12. We got the Trulies, baby. Everybody hey! got Trulies. Oh, that's the original pack. So we only drink Truly lemonades. This is tropical. Well, like this is the main one. They only have one flavor that's normal. There Mango. We go. I like that. That's good. Tropical. Spectacle. 
respectable. <laughs> I'm gonna do the strawberry kiwi. Other passion fruit. It's Com good. It's, it's like you can tell it's professional because it's like not too beery, it's not too flavorful, but it is acidic. Yes, definitely has that acid taste. It's like, it's one of those things where again, you can only probably drink like three or four and you're gonna be burping for four hours. Yeah. You yeah. know what, I don't know. Maybe it's just the flavor, but I like, this didn't hit like I thought it would. I would probably give this like a four or a three. Maybe it's it's the kiwi thing. I, I feel like no one likes kiwi. Why is, why is kiwi a flavor? Yeah, I'm drinking the kiwi. Oh God, maybe it is the kiwi. Damn, I'm really about to put Truly at an eight. Wow. Yeah. I might is have to put bad? it as an eight. I think so. Again, I have all my other spaces full, so I'll figure it out at the way end as I think back. But right now, I didn't really like that. Moving on, baby, we got COVID-19. Oh, we cannot say that. We do not have COVID-19. We have Corona. Oh, these, these have different flavors. Oh, nice. Black cherry lime, cherry. Just straight cherry, not black cherry. Yes, tropical lime and then mango. I might, I might go for the black, black cherry, cherry lime. Cherry. Not bad. Mine's a little bit watery. Yeah, not as much flavor. Oh! But it's not nearly as beery as I thought it was gonna be. Better than some of the other beers that they had over there. It's uh -huh. on the, the lower flavor spectrum, so if you're not like a flavory person, you just wanted like basically sparkling water, five or six. Really? Like in that middle okay. area. Yeah, I feel like it'd above, be above too. average, I think. Mm hmm. But not a winner. But not a wiener. I have four, five, six, seven, eight already taken. Two. I'm gonna do a nine. I'm gonna do a Nine. I have to do a nine. That's the only one what I have this? left. Corona. Let's do something that we've never, ever, ever, ever tried before. This is called the Tapo Chico. We got tropical mango. We got strawberry guava. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. exotic. And then we got exotic pineapple. Nice. Holy shit. This one sounds like it's gonna be good. I'm gonna go for the guava. Strawberry guava. Strawberry guava. 4.7 alcohol, so it's a slightly bit lower. I'm gonna try the tropical mango. Oh my god, dude. This has whoa. Tastes like. Skittles, like the tropical flavor. At a very certain time and place, like on a beach, I'd like this, but not at a party. This is a cruise vibe. Ooh, cruise vibe. Yeah, but drinking this at a party, it's very watery. Just like you get like a Long Island on like a party, or like, like a beach scene. That's what this tastes like. Yeah? This tastes exactly like a frog or a log island. A frog a log, island. A log island. <laughs> Where are we in the drunken scale now? I might go for a 10 on this guy. I'm gonna put you out of two. Damn, okay. Put you out of two. I did a 10, you did a two. It's very different, <laughs> yeah, it's but okay, very we got it. It's a tropical, it's a tropical drink. Guys, we're gonna have to go to our roots real quick. Oh, go to the roots. <laughs> Oh my god, we really hit the roots there. This is the brand that we really want to sponsor us, but yeah. They just don't. They just don't? So, we already know the flavors of this. We got black cherry, ruby, grapefruit, raspberry, natural lime. What would you like? The Dude, black cherry? I'll try raspberry. I'm gonna try the grapefruit. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Something I have to shout out White Claw for, and I respect them for this, is they have different colors on their caps, so when you open the box, you can tell what flavor it is because it's like a different color. Oh, you know? yeah, that is sick. This is just pretty much us drinking on camera. Pretty much just regular shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like an every night thing for us. The acid it has a lot of acid to it now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, acidic. it's like one of if not the most acidic I feel like hundred percent. We've been saying that too like after drinking that much like White Claw It's almost like we want to drink something else because it's not as acidic. That's something we've also noticed is like sometimes we'll go like a week drinking claws and then switch up to Truly's the next week because we just like different tastes. So maybe we're just like overstimulating our seltzer senses. True. I'm gonna put it at a three. I only have one or 12. So I gotta say this is either the best or the worst. And because I want that sponsorship, you got number one, White Claw. Hey, oh, yeah, I got, I'm saying this. What's the final one? It's called Fix. Probably another off-brand version. Grapefruit, cranberry, blackberry, and lime. I'm gonna try cran. Oh, Ooh. they're little This is like a little beat right here. <laughs> Beer, I didn't imagine. Ooh, they got Holy a different fuck. can style. I'm gonna try the black bear. So this one has to be Freedom. my worst one. It might be. It really? <laughs> It is. That was the worst one. Ew! Yeah, this is definitely the worst one. I would do it too, but I only have a one open, so I have to put a one right now. We'll take like three minutes to like taste test. Yeah, Cougars can definitely be an 11. Smirnoff, I said this is a 10. Yeah, it's about the same. <laughs> Topo Chico! Where's Corona? No, Topo Chico is better than Corona. Really? Yeah. Mike's 
pretty dang good, actually. <laughs> Modern times, six. <laughs> that just looks like a party in a drink. It is a party. I just don't think it's as good as Mike's, though. Bud Light. Is it better than Mike's? They're very even. Four for True. I'm gonna knock Truly down to a seven. Damn! Minus three? I'm gonna put Ultra down to a five. That means Claw versus Vizzy. All right, guys, so Sam has made his decisions. We got 12, Fix. Coors is 11, Ultra five, Mike's four, Bud Light three. And for two and one, I gotta do a taste test just to make oh. sure. It's up against White Claw, which is all, all reigning champ right now. Vizzy was, uh, was definitely pretty good though. It comes down to this moment. <laughs> that's just so refreshing. White Claw is definitely refreshing, but that doesn't have as much acidic taste. Oh. I wanna change it up. Vizzy, I'm gonna make you number one. Oh! Number two. So this is my rating. Holy shit, there you go. All right, your turn. This is how I had it all set out. This is number 12, this is number one. I think I have some choices to make here. Very sweet, but this is more acidic. But like, I think these two need to change in order to even move this down here. So does it be this? Ooh. Moving Bud Light up over that. Damn, it's better than this? Sweat. It's not. Ooh, that's actually pretty damn good. Oh, I gotta try the fizzy again. No! Yeah, it's happening. Tapo Chico though. I just like the flavor of it. It's really good. Tropical, very fruity. After reviewing them a little bit, this is what we got now. We got Fix as the last one. You got the Smirnoff as 11. Coors, 10 for me. Ultra, 9. Corona, 8. Truly, 7. Bud Light, 6. Mike's Hard, 5. And then Modern, 4. Chico, 3. And then the last two. We're on the same, that's crazy how we had the same last year. Here we go. Vizzy, off-brand, or White Claw, the most popular. Wow. That is so good. <laughs> Vizzy's our winner. Wow. Before I say this, I think it just depends on what you like, because there's acid in a lot of these. There's like different tastes to it. You know, some are like more fruity, more flavorful, which I like, but then there's a lot of like the acid. There's a lot of very watered down ones as well. This is just like a perfect mix of acid, fruit, and watered down, in my opinion. Like it almost tastes like you're drinking juice. We're not shitting on any of the brands here, but like White Claw, you're still the love of our lives. We have a whole wall dedicated to you and not truly, so just think about that. <laughs> All right, guys, and there you can have it. Congratulations, Busy. We have a new drink. Whoa, we gotta start getting that more often. That's man. crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're over 21, try these out for yourself and let us know what your favorite is to least favorite. We're curious. We want to know. Sam, thank you for doing this. Another excuse to get drunk on Hell the yeah. Rock Always. Channel. Out of one to ten, how do you feel right now? I'm only like a two or three. Yeah, I'm probably like a three. Not, Not too bad. bad this time. Yeah, you gotta change that after this video ends. But yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Go grab the merch down below. It's on sale. First link in the description. I will see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>